Hello and welcome. Uh, in our previous tutorial, we were able to customize the home page uh, using uh, Bootstrap and uh, also made some additions in the uh, base templates uh, footer and uh, yeah, and uh, addi I additionally added some content. And uh, if you look at the home page, you'll see that I changed some text items and uh, so edited these buttons uh, in, inside these uh, divs whereby we have one that is uh, pointing, referring to the bootstrap documentation and the other one for the Django documentation. I also customized the footer a little bit. And uh, in this tutorial, we are going to look at the about page. And uh, for the about page, it's equally going to be uh, short. We are going to go into our bootstrap examples and I identified these heroes. When you open the bootstrap examples, there's this hero element. So I want to add some of these hero elements into the uh, about page. And uh, I had already downloaded these bootstrap examples uh, by clicking on this button here, download examples. And uh, so far, I have these examples here, and I'm going to identify the heroes folder. And the heroes folder is going to open it. And uh, the just like I did before, I'm going to add my inspect element. And then, as you can see, whenever I scroll up and down, you see these items. And uh, one way to go about this, I'm going to copy this one, the first one, is going to copy the element and I'm using Microsoft Edge. So that's why I'm able to, probably if you're using a different browser, you may have it different. So I'm going to go into the about template and I'm going to replace this about. So just to be sure we have this, uh, we have this uh, about, which is a title, I'm going to remove it or rather it's a header I'm, just, I'm going to paste this item and uh, i go back to my browser and paste it you see that we have these i know uh, we do not have this image like we have in, in this example but we are going to look into how to add a placeholder inside that uh, but for now i think uh, we are just going to probably comment on it and then if we refresh this is what we have i'm going to add another uh, div element and i'm just going to copy from this example and i think i'll select this one at the bottom which has the dark mode so i think i'll use that then uh, if you want you can copy it from the from this uh, index.html from the examples. So we just save and uh, I can refresh the page. And you see that we have this dark mode. And then I think I may add one more. So in this case, uh, we'll probably, uh, let me add this one that has the responsive left aligned, aligned with hero. So I'll also copy the element and then I'll paste it after the previous div. So this will constitute, sorry, this is, will constitute our home, uh, our boat page. And uh, you'll notice that it looks funny especially using the dark mode, you'll realize that we have, it looks like it's floating. So this is because uh, when we go to our base template, you will notice that we have, uh, we have this div that wraps around our block content and it, is, it states how uh, it is container. So one way to go about it, we can probably set it as container fluid so that it 
it can fill in the whole uh, screen this way. So for this page, I think it looks a bit, I would say a bit okay, not very much okay, but at least it looks other than having those uh, these things floating uh, in the middle. Uh, and then now this one, since we are all, all pages are inheriting from the base template, you'll realize that now these other items kind of look funny. They look like they are a bit outstretched. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do about that. Uh, okay, in my opinion, it's not very bad, but I wanted the items in various pages like the, the about page to be uh, extended to the ends. So, okay, another way to go around it is uh, I can also do away with this uh, div element. And now one thing you'll notice if I, when I've done that, you'll notice that the footer uh, is going to appear, it's not going to appear very nice. Let's see how it looks like. You see also the footer is extended and this text is at the end. So for the footer, we are going to begin by this footer, uh, by editing this footer and I can add it as container. I can add the container class inside it. Then whenever I refresh now, you see that it is back uh, to these, it's kind of containerized, although not the containerization for Docker. So I'm just using it as a simple explanation. And then we have, so we'll go to our home page. And inside our home page, we are going to wrap the elements inside a container. Container. So the container fluid is fills the whole screen and the, while the container uh, kind of centers the elements. Okay, I forgot to add something there. So I'm going to cut this and add it at the end so that we can drop the whole, all the elements. And now when I go back to my home page, see that our items are back to center and uh, now we are working on the about page so for the about page you can uh, leave it as it is as you can see now the items are stretched from end to end so i'm going to make various uh, probably various customizations on these uh, content and then uh, but this we have at least we have already been able to add or to customize our about template uh still using elements in the bootstrap so in the next uh in the next tutorial we are going to see how we can work with the django contact uh forms uh so that you can be able to customize our contact uh page which currently does not have anything so this uh if you like this video uh, uh like uh you can add a like uh, you can also share my video you can also subscribe to my channel uh, for for more content and uh feel free to uh, click on the bell icon so that whenever i create my content uh you can be able to get a notification you can be among the first people to receive a notification so thank you for watching